Hi, Shweta here. My colleague Rupali started this course with fundamentals of Sri language. And now here I am to unfold a very interesting topic, which is of my interest. I think, really think you're going to like this new topic. From the next chapter onwards, she would again take over from me for a few chapters. Friends, I hope you have finished all the previous topics in the first chapter. That is, A, B, C of C. This topic, in fact, was not basically a part of original C language curriculum when contents of first chapter were designed and developed. But based on the interaction with many college students and online community, I thought of inserting this chapter between first and second chapter. A continuous endeavor would be to go on adding similar contents, albeit in phase-wise manner, as development takes considerable amount of time to create animated contents. After all, this course is product of three P's, passion, perfection, and patience. Now here I am going to explain to you how to write, compile, and execute a program using equally popular C compiler called GCC compiler. One assumption I'm just going to make here is that Ubuntu is installed on your machine along with GNU C compiler. I also assume that you have installed help, that is man pages. If you haven't, then you have got two options. Either install Ubuntu along with C compiler, or straight away skip this chapter and jump to the next one. Alright? Apart from a few Linux commands, I would also cover introduction to one IDE called Code Block, which is also becoming popular among programmers community around the world. You know, at the beginning of the last chapter, my colleague discussed about the role of operating system and also about compiler. She might have told you that platform and compiler may vary from programmer to programmer, but language structure remains the same. Usually, C is the first programming language of many programmers around the world. So students may have any compiler, depending upon compiler, available on his or her own machine or available in his programming laboratory in the college. Friends, varieties of different types of compilers are available in the world. To name a few, there are DOS-based TC compiler, Linux-based GCC compiler, Tiny C compiler, Borland compiler, Microsoft Visual C++ compiler. Further, there are various IDEs like CodeBlock or Dev++ which use GCC compilers for Windows like MingW or CYGWIN. Friends, I would like to inform you that IDEs are not compilers but are only tools which use the above-mentioned compiler. You know, if you search on the internet, you would find nearly 50 plus compilers. Not even that. Apart from standalone compilers, nowadays you would find a few online compilers as well. Now, which is the best one? It is obviously a question of debate. Your friends can use different compilers. However, you don't have to worry about having a different compiler or slightly different version than anybody else. Just carry on with whatever you have got. As I said earlier, there would be minor differences in the code, depending upon the compiler. However, as GCC compiler has become very popular in the last decade, here I am to talk about writing and compiling program in Ubuntu-based GCC compiler. Its use is expanding at a rapid rate. In some part of the world, or I can say nowadays, in significant part of the world, in colleges and universities, programmers' community is migrating towards GCC compiler. 
This is, I would say, a good sign to learn language basics in a hardcore manner. Something like Back to the Future. One well-known author and an ardent fan of GCC says in his book that GCC has well-earned reputation for being difficult to learn. How nicely said. It's difficult, so it's becoming popular. And definitely, if you have reached here, you must be loving difficult things in life, isn't it? Well, so Ubuntu is a Linux-based product and is a free operating system and provides GCC compiler as a part of Ubuntu. Many students ask me, why the name Ubuntu? What is the meaning of that? Let's have a quick review to understand this mystery. Actually, Ubuntu comes from Zulu and Kosa language and means, I am because we are. It is basically a South African ideology which believes that humanity towards others is the essence of life. Perhaps that might be the reason it has been kept as a free operating system. Great thought, you know, in this corporate world. When you catch sight of Ubuntu desktop, you will notice a non-typical interface as shown. Despite being a trainer for last 30 years, you know, being an art lover, I would say colors, font style, font size, canvas. Overall appearance of Ubuntu is marvelous. Not only that, but you would find the desktop eye-soothing too. Even you can easily notice this if you are coming from Windows. So we will move ahead step by step by sensing the beauty of each feature.